Hey everybody, it's David. And I'm Brenda. We're from OutsiderBubble.com and you're traveling right here on I-10 westbound and we're coming to you to talk to you about the importance of safe stopping distance when driving a heavy vehicle. Yes, and also with a heavy vehicle, it's always important to note your surroundings and what's around you and behind you. That's because you never know what might happen. Now, what you don't know right now, and neither did we, is up ahead, a multi-car accident just occurred on I-10 westbound on December 1st. A fatality actually just occurred. And what you're about to listen to is our live recording from our video cam when we were streaming live. Let's listen in and see what happens in seven seconds, shall we? Traffic just came to a crawling halt very, there was an very right rapidly, there. very rapidly. Nobody um, hit our back car, right? Nobody hit our back car. Um, and I am literally, I started to move over to the uh, shoulder, to the shoulder immediately off. because I was braking hard and okay, buddy. I had a, let me explain. Traffic started abruptly braking out of nowhere. I started abruptly braking. We were at a tra safe travel distance from the car in front of us. I started braking heavily. They started braking even more heavily. We're a very heavy vehicle. I started pulling to the left to make sure I was not gonna hit this Yukon in front of me, just in case I couldn't stop in time. And uh, thankfully everybody stopped behind us. Yeah, uh, I always in time. worry about the tow vehicle too, because if someone crashes in. And we do have video footage of that also. This is from our rear tow camera. Um, and you can see that the brake light will come on on the Air Force One braking system on top of the windshield there. We're heavily braking at this point, and you'll see the Jeep behind us. He starts to heavily brake, and we're moving over at this point just in case, and he comes right up and look at the car behind him. Oh! So glad they were all paying attention. Yes, we are. So what you just witnessed was us stopping our 2014 Tiffin Allegro bus model 45 LP that is pulling a Jeep Grand Cherokee behind us. Now this particular coach loaded for travel like we are weighs 42,000 pounds. And this is also important to note that we do have a supplementary braking system in the Jeep. Yes, to that end, if we did not have a supplementary braking system in the Jeep, well, we surely would have hit that Yukon in front of us because a supplementary braking system, in this case the Air Force One, helped us to brake properly in order to avoid a collision. And that all occurred in seven seconds. Just, just to, again, think about that in a, for a second there. We couldn't see the brake lights. The sun is behind us. The brake lights, therefore, in this day, as you can see, even the car in front of us like that. Um, oh, by the way, when you're on I-10, you, things you have to do, you do have to still walk your dog. We sat there... <laughs> for two hours, unfortunately, and but we didn't lose our lives at least. Yes. Or have an accident. Um, this, unfortunately, did result in a fatality um, on I-10 on December 1st. So the importance of understanding what you're driving is is very big. And being able to safely stop in a, in a quick amount of time, again, take that in for a second. We're talking, we went from 70 miles an hour to zero in seven seconds, according to the to the clock counters. Yeah, kudos to David for that one. Yeah, I even shifted over, as I mentioned in the video, started the shift to the left in case I had to dive it over not to hit that Yukon, but we were lucky enough that, well, skillful enough to drive correctly and be able to stop. And it's not like we didn't see it coming. We just yeah, couldn't we'll see, see it coming. How... But this was the resulting accident that, that day on the road, unfortunately. And this is what you're going to see took place. That's a horse trailer that went Let's listen. The oh, there's a, oh, there's a car totally destroyed. There's a car totally destroyed. To oh my gosh, that car is totally destroyed. And there's a horse trailer and a pickup truck and a red car all totally destroyed. Another one totally destroyed. And, oh, a oh, car flipped over oh, on its side. Oh. A car flipped over. Oh, boy. So we hope that this video has shown you that it is very important to understand what you're driving and a safe stopping distance and what your vehicle is capable of doing. And let's just hope this doesn't happen to you. Any case, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. Take care and keep safe out there on the road.